Yes, my fans, good morning to you again. This is your boy Bunny coming to you again with another blog. So, I always said, if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about cooking. And why am I talking about cooking? I would like to know if there is any person, whether man or woman, who live in Jamaica, are born in Jamaica, and can't cook. Because I am getting the understanding that there is woman that live in Jamaica that cannot cook and I find it strange and the reason why I find it strange I do believe that every man that is my belief that every man that come from Jamaica can cook or live in Jamaica can cook I don't know about the woman but I do believe that every man in Jamaica can cook. Now, for me personally, who born in Jamaica, as a child, we start a thing called Dalios. And if you're born and grow in Jamaica, you must know about Dalios. Now, you might wonder why a boy are a man talk about dalios yes we do play dalios with the girls and not even dalios alone but we go a bush and we run a thing called boat so we will go to the river and we'll catch janga and we'll go cook a bush so we start at a young age by cooking Dalio's mud pot and we use what you call pretend seasoning so you put the pot on the fire and you throw water you throw mud in it and you cut up bush and you put in it and you stir it up and you do pretend cooking as a young boy and girl growing up because that is what you see your parents do so we pretend cooking by putting your food in the pot putting the season in the pot stir it up and you pretend cooking so that's what we do as dalios now when you grow bigger than that you want to cook the real pot so we as boy we will go to the river and we will catch janga and we'll come back and we'll go into the bush or in a parents kitchen and we will cook our own little pot because that's what we do we watch our parents we see what our parents do and we grow up and we do the same thing but for me personally i can tell anybody i cook my first family dinner at the age of 10 year old I cook for the family because my late mom teach me how to cook and I keep that in me as a mentor so wherever I go no woman can push me about because I know to cook I know to clean I know to wash I know to iron but I don't like ironing. I can iron. What said I can do? I can cook, wash, clean, iron. I can even sew with a needle and thread. Yes, I can do that. Look at me. The la is about two years since I last sit into a barber chair, or probably more. I try to do everything. I shave myself, I cut my own hair. 
I see people say they can't shave themselves. Why you can't shave yourself? All you need is a razor and mirror. Or a shaver and a mirror. More than two years, I don't sit in a barber chair. No, I'm talking about cooking, so I don't know why I've gone, gone to barbering. No, what I'm trying to say, I cooked my first family dinner at the age of 10 years old. And I cook soup, pea soup. Pea soup. My parents it was farmer. And they grew up gungo peas in large quantity. They grew red peas in large quantity. They grew everything. So I have to cook peas soup with chicken back. If anybody knows chicken back, type chicken back in the, in the, in the comments. Yes. I have to cook pea soup with chicken back. Knead dumpling, peel yam, pumpkin cocoa, the breed of true cocoa. And when I cook big, we don't cook small pot, we cook big pot. Because when everybody eat, you want to go back, you go back. If you don't want to go back the next year, we have the rest and we eat. So, for me, when I hear that woman in Jamaica can't cook, it's shocking to me. Ladies, ladies, teach your children from a young age to cook. Whether they are a boy or a girl, that when they grow up, nobody push them about. Ladies, ladies. Teach your boys and your girls how to cook. Call them in the kitchen and show them how to cook. Worse to the girl child. Because when they leave home and find their husband or their boyfriend or whatever it is, they will know how to do things. Not just cooking, but learn to clean. Learn to clean. I met some girls out there what when you go to their house only God knows how they live because they sleep in their own clothes then take it off and throw it on their bed they sleep on the bed and the next day they take out another one and then throw it it's disgusting it's disgusting so I am asking the ladies, the ladies, the ladies out there who is watching this video and you have young children coming up, boys or girls, please teach them how to do things. I don't know if your mom did teach you, but please teach your children how to keep the place clean and how to cook because I am telling you, my mom teach me how to cook. She teach me how to clean. She teach me how to sew. She teach me how to wash. And I am a proud man today. Can sit here and tell you that no woman can push me around. Because I cook, clean, wash, iron. But I don't like ironing. I can tell you I don't like it. But when it comes down to it, I will do it. I will do it. So, I'm asking again, the ladies, please teach your children how to cook and clean and do things for themselves that when they grow up, they can be independent. And no man or no woman will push them about. This is what I come to you to ask you today about. Cooking. I love cook. I love cook. I'm not a chef. I never go anywhere. Go to get any qualification to cook. But. Nobody. Can push me around. When it comes to the fireside. If you can remember back home. 
in the kitchen in Jamaica, most kitchen it was waffle kitchen. And then plant four bamboo in the ground and put some stick across it. Then fill it up with dirt and put two concrete blocks at the side of it. And that was what the fireside used to be like. Now for a little kid to get up there, you have to stand up on two concrete blocks to get up to the fireside and the height of the pot. And at the age of 10 year old, I am cooking on those fire. So when you stand up on two blocks, the pot is still up here. And if you stir the pot, you have to stretch. And if anybody born at Jamaica, you might leave Jamaica for a long time. And you're watching this video. And you can remember some of what I'm talking about. These waffle kitchen with four bamboo posts and some cross stick and the fire up there with two pieces of bed iron and that is what we used to cook on and sometime when you are cook and when you go and eat the fireside what we call jester because you have the fireside here so and you have the jester here so you turn on the plate and pan and sometime where we chop up wood we put a man and eat the jester on the fireside and sometimes when you cook, you run out of wood. And what we do? We pop out the bamboo them out of the kitchen or walk out the kitchen and we use them in the fire to cook, to cook the food. And we see when we turn back, go back and cut bamboo to walk back the kitchen. Yeah, I just come to the fire and have a little talk with you back in the days. Because I am going back from the age of 10 because that's when I start to cook family dinner properly. So, my mom could come home and my dad could come home and they could have decent dinner. Because I was the eldest at home. I was the eldest. My sister after me and after me after me. So, I, I was the eldest at home. So, I know what it is to look after my younger one so if you are familiar with my story and you like my story leave a comments let me know what you think about my story and remember to like share comment and subscribe to the channel but also remember give the video a thumbs up give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down depends on how you rate the video i would love to see your feedback by a thumbs up or a thumbs down yes this is your boy bunny and i'm here this morning to tell you a big 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 good morning and to tell you about my cooking experience as a child you can let me know yours and if there's any story that you want me to talk about put it in the comments I, my head is full of it and they're coming there's a lot 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 more is coming because me is here to give you my life experience so follow me as i continue to bring to you liquor of my life this is your boy bunny i am in and i am out and i'm saying thank you to subscribe to my channel thank you to following follow me and my journey and I'm looking forward to have a wonderful time with you. I'm out your boy Bonnie. God bless you. Have a blessed day.